Welcome. It is the sixth day of April. We're going to do a recap of today's Trade Lab performance. My name is EP. Appreciate you watching this video. So we're uh, about 1030, about an hour into uh, the trading session. Got some live markets happening in the background. Pick, uh, pick you up with what the S&P has been doing. S&P has been doing nothing but surging until about the last five, 10 minutes here. You can see it's starting to pull back off. It breached into the secondary bull zone. Of course, uh, eating up the losses from last week. Look at that. So that would be Sunday. That's the activity from Sunday. You can see the giant open Sunday, uh, Sunday late afternoon. <clears throat> and again, uh, far left is going to be Friday. So Friday, Sunday, and then today. So yeah, taking a nice charge up. So our, our sentiment today has been risk on. And of course, uh, up into the secondary bull zone. Here's a quick look at the zones and the levels that we use as our map every day here in the trade lab for every single market that I trade. And today, we had three of them. We traded crude, we traded the Dow, and I also traded gold. I'm gonna show you all three of those today. Let's start off with uh, what will stay to the cousin of the S&P, which would be the Dow. Dow having a nice run. Stock market opening up at uh, 9.30, which is right there, the white line giving you a idea of when the stock market opened up. Took a counter trend trade. Actually had a qualification. This uh, bar here closing below the lower band was giving me a signal to sell. And of course I'd be selling in the bull zone. So again, that's a counter trend trade. Now the white horizontal lines would represent the high and the low of the day. So as you can see, I got stopped out on my first trade right there and coincidentally that bar when it closed was closing above the moving average which qualifies for a trend following trade so when it's a trend follower this is acceptable for a qualification placing my stop below the lower band and letting this thing run so you can see I was in this trade for a very short period of time got filled two minutes later and was in that trade for about four minutes and uh, did not go for the high of the day, did not go for the next level. Uh, I look back and go, wow, what I could have done, right? What it could have, should have, but no regrets. I'll talk about in a minute why I took the money off the table. I want you guys to recognize these red dots and yellow dots up here. This is part of the RQ Obos overbought, oversold indicator that we have. So a lot of overbought and retracement signals coming in. Short retracement. Some more retracement signals, lots of them. And as we speak, the Dow has climbed back down into the neutral trade zone. It's the live market. But I want you to recognize uh, getting in and getting out. My target on a $10,000 account is to make 500 bucks a day. That was one part of it. So a loss, a winner. But we did have some other trades to talk about. This is the second trade second market I should say and this would be the crude oil so crude oil I was actually looking to get into a counter trend trade at, out of the gate again 930 is right there that's the beginning of the New York Stock Exchange opening I was contemplating a short inside of a neutral trade zone in between the bull and the bear but it made a u-turn and qualified a close above the moving average once again you, we use the moving average when we have a trend following trade. Man, this is textbook. Got filled on the next bar, a few ticks higher, and then one, two, three, four, five minutes, took the money off the table. And do you see it? Do you see the little yellow dot? Put an arrow on it for you. That's an over bot indicator. It's part of the RQ Obos indicator and uh, took the money off and as we speak it's come all the way back down by the way there's a few more trades in there and now it's all the way back down inside the neutral trade zone 
So I think it's fair to say we took uh, took out the run, the solo run up that we've had today in crude. And then there's one more to speak of, and this would be gold. Gold up here in bull zone three, way up high in the sky today. We're just talking about how gold's had about a $4,500 run since the beginning of prime time in the Eurex session. It's up about $2,200 above the critical resistance level. And yes, I did buy it. Just showing the traders here in the trade lab how what we could have done to make more. <clears throat> Not going to be upset though, because made my money with the qualifier right here, breaking out and closing above the top band. Look at the bands, how they started to widen up. And in one, two minutes, big stretch. I don't have a crystal ball that's telling me where it's going to go, but I can tell you that when we're upstairs in the critical resistance area. Probabilities start stacking against you, so don't get too greedy up here. So looking at my open trade equity, trying to make $500 and being in a gold, a crude, in a Dow all simultaneously, well, here's the net results for those trades. You can look to the right and see the results. That first loss in the, in the Dow made it back. And obviously gold is where I made most of the money today. In two minutes, the best part of today, hit my daily goal. And then some paid myself a little additional bonus, 550 in the average length of time today in the markets, four minutes. We can do it again tomorrow. I enjoy you guys being with. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Come on into the trading room, thetradingroom.com. Get your two-week trial going. Sign up for a two-week trial and start learning out of the box right here, right now. You guys can get information on the technology their performance, and more recordings just like this. See you guys in the lab tomorrow.